Hey everybody, had a pretty good week here. I've got six TTMs, some private signings, and some purchases to show off. I uh, got a few more Storm Chasers in. I uh, got a hockey and uh, some stuff for the set, so I'll get right into this here. My first one is a one of one in 13 days from former Storm Chaser coach Ryan Powers, who is currently the hitting coach for the Quad City River Bandits in Davenport, Iowa. Uh, which is the Royals' single-A team. All right, next one is a 2 of 2 in 14 days from a uh, former Storm Chaser pitcher and a uh, former big leaguer. I don't remember who he played for in the big leagues. But uh, we got Clayton Mortensen. <laughs> Clayton Mortensen. <laughs> um Great signer. Uh, he's coaching somewhere now, too. I don't remember who he's coaching with, though. But uh, he's always been a great signer, as you can see here. He's got a pretty interesting signature there as well. All right, next one, another former Storm Chaser here. It's a one of one in 10 days from Joe Patterson. And I believe he was also a big leaguer. Maybe the Orioles? Don't quote me on that. And the final Storm Chaser here, uh, this is a, they just retired his jersey last year in Omaha. He's the winningest manager in Omaha baseball history. It's a 5 of 5 in 6 days. He only lives an hour away from me, at best. I got Brian Poldberg, which he did retire. He's a great signer, long time minor league coach, uh, did play. In the minor leagues with the Royals and the Yankees in the 70s and 80s. But, uh, hey, if you've got some of his cards laying around, which he does have a lot of cards. Not just as a manager, but player, too. He is a great signer. Alrighty, next one. Is a 2 of 2 in 17 days from a recently retired player. A baseball family. We've got Austin Rome, or Andrew Romine. Of course, his brother is Austin, who's the catcher. And then their father is Kevin Romine. So we got him on that heritage there. And he signed a 4x6. Of course, uh, I think he does accept donations for charity. I did not send one, so maybe that's why he personalized everything. But I'm... Mean, Perfectly fine with that. Uh, at least at one time he took donations. I don't know if he's still doing that or not because he signs regardless. All right, and the final one, we got a hockey return here. It's a 3 of 3 in 15 days from an excellent player. Uh, we got Darius Kasparitis. Great player. Here, here he is on his uh, rookie card here on the 92 upper deck. And his... I believe this is his only Avalanche card on the 2003 Pacific. Uh, which I do not remember him with the Avalanche at all. I remember him playing with the Penguins for quite a while. And of course, got him on my 4x6. He is right down here. Gave me a little smiley face in there. Looks good. I am up to 9 signatures on here now. Real happy with that. That's uh, been a pretty fun project to do here. Oh, and I just pulled the Michael Myers. Knocking everything down. Alright, gonna do the private signings next. Got some good stuff here. Uh, these are gonna be some set cards. Alright, so the first one. Uh, the Bennis brothers did a signing together. So I got Andy here for the set. Inscribe All Star 1993. And a 4x6, and this turned out beautiful. You can really see his signature. He's got a big space to sign. It looks good. And, of course, his brother Alan was there. Got him for the set. It was a first-round pick in... I don't remember what year. And got current Braves coach. Got Eric Young. And got Brett Boone, the best of the Boones, for the set there. And, of course, had to throw a Mariner card, 2001. Fantastic year that year. 
Uh, I'm going to run out of time here, so I won't go over my purchases. But uh, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.